Welcome from Melbourne, Australia. It is so bright in Australia. <laughs> it is so bright. But let me explain you why I'm actually here. So this time I'm not filming for Galileo, the German TV channel. This time it's for our neighbors from Austria. They also have a TV channel which is interested about scientific documentaries. Um, it's called Servus TV, the channel, and the magazine is called PM. And yeah, therefore we are filming here, or I am filming two topics. One is about Lake Hilliger, that's a pink lake in the southwest of Australia. I will put a link to this lake in the description. And the other one is about glowing water in Tasmania. So the first one um, for the pink lake, I will meet up a scientist and professor here in Melbourne, do an interview with him and he's uh, doing some research about the lake. And then in a couple of days I will go to Tasmania and film the next topic there. But yeah, um, that's maybe the first introduction why I'm actually here. Um, I'm looking forward to my time in Melbourne and in Australia. Well, that's life as a videographer, especially when you travel alone and you have to film everything by yourself. So when I was exploring the city and tried to get some footage here for the vlog, um, I got a call from the scientist and professor, the one I will film tomorrow. We got some problems for the shooting location and we had to find like another lab where we can shoot the interview. In the end now everything should be solved, all things are good. Um, but yeah, it took me now four to five hours to manage all of this and so the sun is down, um, it's pretty late, it's 7.30 in the evening now, um, I haven't had lunch, I haven't had dinner yet, so I guess tonight we will see a little bit more um, at night time, that's a good thing when you film in the city, so I will try to find some maybe fast food. <laughs> here uh, for my dinner tonight and let's see how Melbourne looks at night. taste of home. I haven't had a kebab in such a long time so that was actually good. Uh, but something else that I actually want to say about Australia here because I haven't been the last six months uh, in a country where you have seasons. It's right now autumn so because of that it's actually pretty cold. When I compare it to Malaysia I mean it's every day 28 to 32 degrees and yeah it's always summer and that's one of the problem here it's i mean here in melbourne it's still fine we have now uh, 14 degrees but when i go to tasmania on saturday there it will be much much colder so there will be around five to eight degree and yeah um, i'm not looking forward to this 
because I also don't really have much clothes with me because um, when I moved to Malaysia I sent all my winter clothes back to Germany actually I don't know why I did that I mean I don't really need it in, in Malaysia but like of course there will be trips probably to cold countries but most of the times I'm traveling around Southeast Asia so I actually don't really need warm clothes so that's all I have a hoodie another zip hoodie and a sweater and that's all so I have to survive with this when they bite you um, but also what I wanted to say is yeah it's actually also my first time in Australia and if you don't count Bali and Lombok it's also actually my first time in the southern hemisphere because I mean Bali and Lombok they are in the southern hemisphere but it's really really close to the northern hemisphere my first impression I just have an impression of a couple of hours so far and all the Australians will be probably really really mad if they hear this it reminds me a little bit of my time in North America. Um, I mean, it is different to Canada, and <laughs> but in some way it also reminds me of my time there. And yeah, the architecture, everything is like westernized. It is super f expensive um, compared to Malaysia. Like when you when you're used to the lifestyle in Malaysia, and then you come to these Western countries again. Oh my god, um, money is really an issue. of cards but just one is working as you can see I'm going crazy because all of this sh this that is happening here and all the things that I have to fix and figure out for the shooting but that's normal that's life as a Michael Lindy as I would say no um, so the walk around here at night was yeah kind of nice um, had a really good dinner that was interesting also my little animal friends I think they are called opossums I mean that's ex at least uh, the name for them in, in German um, so probably I would do a YouTube jump cut now if it, something was wrong about this. A possum. That's it for today. Tomorrow is filming day. I'm kind of looking forward, but still some things I'm not totally sure. So please wish me all the best. I will pray tonight that everything goes well tomorrow and yeah that's it thanks for tuning in as always and see you in the next episode bye bye oh yeah we are going to